What should you expect from a leader of your kitchen? Whether they're a kitchen manager or a chef, the short answer is that there's really only one difference between the two of them. When it comes to job expectations, you should expect your chef is going to have a much broader knowledge of food, right? From French cuisine to knife skills, to being able to break down, uh, you know, a, a side of beef, a pig, who knows? They've got a broad range of knowledge and culinary skills, preparation of dishes, and they have an ability to train others the same way, basically what they know. Now, a kitchen manager, like a chef, is going to manage a kitchen. And see, the difference is, depending on how much culinary knowledge you have, the chef still means manager. Right? So the major difference between the chef and the kitchen manager is really knowledge and ability to create new menu items, develop people when it comes to higher end skills. But either way, they both manage. In fact, I give a speech when I fly around the country, different shows that often one of the favorite ones I give is chef means manager, not person who makes pretty food taste good. Insert kitchen manager there. Doesn't make a difference. They're there to manage just like your front of house is. Now here's a list of management expectations you should place on your kitchen pro, whether a chef or a kitchen manager. So your kitchen pro should know and create all menu items offered at a restaurant upon basically your approval. Your kitchen pro provides build sheets and photographs so all the staff can accurately answer the item questions regarding preparation methods, ingredients, portion size, and side items accompanying the dishes. Your kitchen pro sets all specifications for substitutions for items on your menu. Your Kitchen Pro orders on budget following PARs. Your Kitchen Pro calculates and compares actual to ideal food cost. Your Kitchen Pro maintains a level of inventory that basically turns your inventory in a calendar month four to six times. Your Kitchen Pro ensures that the proper food controls are in place to maintain an appropriate level of cost of goods sold. To be able to hit your number within a half a percent of your targeted budgeted cost of goods sold. Your Kitchen Pro stays, well, within line item budgetary goals assigned to this position, following the restaurant's annual budget, whether that's paper supplies, janitorial, smallwares, you get the picture. Your Kitchen Pro creates special lists, or I'm sorry, specials, if they do so at least a week ahead of, ahead of, ahead of time, right? So we're not making it, oh, it's three o'clock. We've got a dinner rush coming in an hour. What, what do we want to make for a special? No, I want recipe costing cards done, have it costed out properly and a price set and approved by management, the general manager or owner, a week in advance. Your Kitchen Pro builds menu catering. So whatever those menus are for catering, from past appetizers to sit down on site or on premise, any of those events, those menus are done. Your Kitchen Pro creates specials. Your Kitchen Pro implements proper people practices regarding interviewing, selection, training, and employee relations. Your Kitchen Pro meets uniform and appearance standards. Your Kitchen Pro maintains a five-star health and sanitation rating with your health department. Your Kitchen Pro maintains appropriate staffing levels. Your Kitchen Pro controls labor within a half a percent of targeted labor. Your Kitchen Pro maintains a positive attendance record reporting for assigned shifts, 0%, 0% no call, no show record. Your Kitchen Pro ensures all sanitation and safety standards are followed. Your Kitchen Pro encourages and develops a cooperative team environment. Your Kitchen Pro implements employee development plans. Your Kitchen Pro ultimately leads by example. It's really important that you as the owner understand what the expectations are from your culinary leader, or you'll be paying someone who doesn't have a grasp of what's expected of them, and they will ultimately let you down. Even when it's your fault, you allowed it to happen. If you'd like to ask me questions directly about what I just taught you, be sure to join me every Friday on YouTube live at 8 a.m. Pacific time, travel schedule permitting, where I get you motivated about your upcoming weekend. But more importantly, I answer your questions live.